Hey everyone, Chris Woolley here, and we're doing a behind the scenes shoot of a cabaret themed photo session with Nicole here. So we're going to be using multiple lights and going for a very moody, dramatic image. Let me walk you through the lighting setup. So I've got my key light here, which is a 20 inch Octabox, and I've got a grid on it. And this is just going to keep the light focused in nice and tight on our subject. We're not gonna have a whole bunch spilling anywhere else on the scene, so we're just primarily lighting our subject. Now it is a 20 inch modifier, which is pretty small. So we wanna make sure that it's in nice and close so that we get a really, really nice quality of light. It's gonna kinda of wrap around our subject while providing some deep and moody shadows. It's absolutely beautiful if it's in really, really close. I'm not a fan of it if it's pulled back and away from the subject. So I generally like to keep it three to five feet away from the subject for best results. Let's look at the other lights. I've got mirrored on either side two one by three gridded strip boxes. And their whole point on this one is just to separate our subject from the background. Again, they've got our crates on there. Our grid is going to just make it so that light's not spilling everywhere. It's only hitting our subject. It's not going into the camera. And we're just providing that beautiful illumination. And it's wrapping around our subject. So we just get that nice, even wrapping light. And I've got one more light that's hidden back here. And it's actually a gelled light. And I've just got a small mount, so it's resting on the ground here and just shining up against our Savage Thunder Gray seamless paper. Now, if I'm gonna be doing any sort of lighting with gels, I love to use darker paper. So instead of using like a bright white or a photo white background, I'm using a Thunder Gray, something that's dark. That allows me to have a lot of light hit it and that's gonna produce very saturated images. So I selected red as the gel color because we're gonna be popping the red lipstick from our model as well as the warmth of her hair. It's gonna complement the dark tones and lighter skin tones that we have beautifully. So this combination is gonna produce a very, very vibrant, stunning set of images, super high contrast and very dramatic. Let's dive on in. All right, so I've got my camera here and the settings are f5.6 because I have my key light set at f5.6, so it's already metered out. I've got one one hundredth of a second as my shutter speed, just so I can maintain the sync speed with my lights. Yours can vary on that one. And I'm shooting at 100 ISO, just so I can maintain a really, really nice clean image. So before we dive in too much, I'm just gonna get a quick test shot so we can see what our model's looking like. Oh, that was beautiful, Nicole. Uh, we've got great wraparound light, really, really vivid detail that's happening. So we're ready to rock and roll. So I want to make sure that my model's staying straight on so that she's centered on this gel background here. And she's popping her legs beautifully so we get some really nice feminine shape coming through. So let's just experiment. And we're just going to play around and I'm shooting a little bit wide so I can crop and post. There we go. And those big eyes. <gasps> and the nose cheating to the left and to the light just a little bit. There we go. Kind of a... <gasps> Can we play with the hat a little bit more? Oh, super cute. Let's pull the hat off just slightly to the side of your head. There you go, kind of a, I wanna see a little bit more of the top of it. There we go. Hey, almost like New Year's. And that great big smile, kind of a, and ooh. All right, let's play with, do something completely different. Give me attitude, there we go. Kind of a, <gasps> hey. There we go. Oh, that is fun. <gasps> Perfect. So we've just got a beautiful series of images just playing around and embracing the shadow and high contrast aspect of this to produce a beautiful, dramatic image. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone.